Quicksilver Hardware Renderer. By default, our render in 3ds Max scene is the scanline renderer. Let's go up into our main toolbar up here and let's go look at our render setup. Now click on render setup. The default renderer is the default scanline renderer. If we want to go to the Quicksilver hardware renderer, we hit the down arrow here and we say Quicksilver hardware renderer. Now, you'll see that I get different things that will show up here. Let's go and click on the Renderer tab. In the Renderer tab, one of the nice things, each render has pros and cons, right? So we, that's why we got different renders. One of the nice things about this render is the visual style. We have different rendering levels. Right now it's realistic, but we can have various styles and so we can pick one of these styles for example let's say we want to go with clay and then in the clay then I'm going to go up and do a render and whammo it comes out as clay right and let's pick another style here uh, I can actually go with how about acrylic okay and I'll say render and bang here comes the acrylic right there all right so each one has its pluses and minuses uh, so we can make the changes to which render we want to use in all its settings um, but I can go back to realistic and hit render and you can see it's a little bit different than some of the other renderings but you have to kind of set and play with each of these uh, system uh, variables for each renderer. So each render has a plus and minus. The Quicksilver one here, its advantages are in the render tab. We do have these visual styles and appearances that we can use.